All right, I have this picture, and we're going to look through uh, digital photography workflow from all the way from a picture to a print. And this is an uh, image captured with a Nikon D700. It's uh, got some fill grain behind it and some exposure problems. So as I adjust the exposure, however, if you can see, if I overexpose it, the hair is overexposed. And if I underexpose it, a lot of the elements are black. So we got to decide what we want. Do we want the baby to be up front? This is my daughter, Scarlett. Um, or do we want the items in the background to be black? Okay, so I'm going to choose the items in the background to be less apparent and this one to be um, exposed perfectly. As I exposed it, however, um, I come across this. And this is a lot of film grain. So in CS5, the first thing I want to show you is the fact that we can get rid of this film grain. If we go to the detail feature, we have a noise reduction feature, and it's based upon luminance. Okay, as I tone the style back, there goes the film grain. Okay, now you don't want to get rid of all of it, just, just enough so it's not annoying anymore. Did it do anything to the shot? Okay, well, well, let's look. Let's zoom in on an area that's supposed to be important, the eyes. And let's turn this off. Okay, and turn it back on. Nothing too significant about that. Uh, but the background, however, you can see if I got this background, noise no noise. Now if you are used to shooting uh, photography with a high ISO you just fell out of your chair because really what this means is you can now shoot raw footage or JPEGs I notice it works on JPEGs quite well too and remove the noise after the fact and this is new to camera raw 6.0 alright so that's step number one is to work on those Step number two, I'm going to work with Photoshop a lot more in the next video. So I'm just going to say open image. All right, let's meet you in the next video.